I first heard about it when I was 27 years old and I was chasing Joan. So um, I pretended I wanted to buy an island and the estate agent laid on a house and a helicopter for me. And um, we came down for the weekend, saw this beautiful island from the air and um, put in a ridiculously low offer for it. But about a year later, they rang me up and said that nobody else had come to see, see the island. And if I upped the offer to $120,000, um, we, we could have it. So we bought it on that basis, but then of course it was going to cost millions to actually develop. Fortunately, the record company became you know, the most successful independent record company in the world. And over the next few years, we managed to get the resources together to make it what it is today. There was nothing on the island when we first came here. Uh, the only inhabitants had ever been here were the Carib Indians hundreds of years before. We actually found some Carib Indian arrowheads on this path. They'd left no, no trace of mankind. Well, two Telegraph journalists were told to find a deserted island and see how long they could survive. And they chose Necker Island. And within a couple of days, they were radioing for help <laughs> to get them off the island. They've come back to the island since and uh, we couldn't get them off. <laughs> so. The only buildings we've already got is the, the Great House, which has just been completed. We've got our house on, on the hill here. We've got Barley Low and um, Barley High in the distance over there. So we've kept the, kept the buildings to a minimum. It's enough for about 40 people to stay on the island at one time. Anything more than that, I think, would, would spoil it. My original plans for Necker was actually to turn it into a recording studio. I didn't continue with that plan, instead decided to turn it into a place where wonderful, interesting people could come, debate issues, think, and have a great time. And I'm quite glad, actually, that that's where we ended up. The most extraordinary people come to Necker. The Elders was conceived here on Necker with Archbishop Tutu, with President Carter, with Kofi Annan. The Carbon War Room was conceived here, an organization that tries to work with industry to try to extract carbon out of the Earth's atmosphere. Things like Virgin Galactic, you know, sitting in my hammock, looking up at the stars at night, just thought, surely in my lifetime, I should be able to go to space. Surely my friends should be able to go to space. My children should be able to go to space. So a great place to think and a great place to conceive ideas. NECA really has been my home for, for about 30 years. It's the place where you know, Sam and Holly grew up. It's the place we, I got married. It's the place my daughter got married. And you know, it's the place that we get away from it all to relax as a family and, and spend time with you know, our closest friends. Diana and the kids in particular used to come here quite a lot when the kids were young and used Necker as an escape, a place where they could get away from the paparazzi and they could bring their family and friends and let their hair down. <laughs> Sam, where are you? Oh, hello, Sam. Oh, it's good, isn't it? Yeah. Why didn't you go up to the bedroom and talk to me? It was 2011, there was a hurricane. It was 2 a.m. in the morning and lightning hit this house. 300 foot flames erupted out of the house. My mother was 88 at the time. Kate Winslet was good enough to sweep her up into her arms and carry her out. And I remember saying to Kate's kids, things don't matter in life. You know, the fact that everybody's well is all that matters. And, and it's on moments like that, you realize that things really don't matter. And then the next day, while the fire was still burning, we got out a massive sheet of white paper and we started planning the new house. We've reintroduced species onto Necker that used to exist in the British Virgin Islands. And I think that's very important for most species that are in peril. There should be a few in captivity. Make sure the surroundings are absolutely beautiful for them. Then you can be assured of the species' future. We're turning Necker Island into, a few months from now, will be 
almost carbon neutral. So we're putting up windmills, we're putting a lot more solar on the island. And we want to be able to show the British Virgin Island government and you know, other Caribbean governments that by turning to clean energy, uh, you can also save your people quite a lot on their electricity bills and put less carbon out, out into the Earth's atmosphere. Well, look, Necker is home. I mean, the other places that we created are equally magnificent in their own way, but Necker is home, and therefore there's something particularly special about this little jewel.